Good morning, dear children. Nice to see you back. So let's do a recap of what we did last week. We did what is multiplication and we learned that multiplication is repeated addition and I've shown you some examples there also. Yes or no? And some of you did it very quickly, some of you were very slow to respond, but anyway, most of you did those sums and I hope you are learning your multiplication. Okay, let me test you your multiplication. Ready? Six sevens are 42. Eight nines are 72. Come on, quick. Six eights are 48. Okay? So some of you are very quick. Some of you are covering from six ones are six twos are. That's going to be very late. So you must be quick. So you've got a lot of time during this lockdown period. You can do your homework. At least say half an hour just to learn your tables. Each table, one, two times table, next day, three times table. By the end of this lockdown, you will know nine till nine times table. Okay? So today what we are going to do is we are going to learn about division. And what is division? Division is repeated subtraction. Just as multiplication was repeated addition, division is repeated subtraction. And it is a faster way of doing subtraction. So let me show you. Okay? So let's divide 10 minus 2. Uh, 10 divided by 2. Ready? So let's do it in sub subtraction style. Till, they are, till we get 0. 10 minus 2, 8. 8 minus 2, 6. 6 minus 2, 4. 4 minus 2, 2. 2 minus 2, 0. So we are doing repeated subtraction. We are subtracting 2 from 10. And each time that we are subtracting, we are taking 2 away. We are subtracting 2. So how many times have we used 2? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We have subtracted 2 from 10. How many times? 5 times. Now this is a long way. The shorter way. Okay? Let's put here. Let's put here. 2 goes to 10. How many times? 2, 5 are... 10. So basically, what is division? Division is repeated, subtraction. But it is a faster way of calculating or doing sums. You can see the difference. Just say if you have to minus, we have to divide 1 lakh by 10. Now if you are going to subtract Doing it this way is going to take you one whole day, it may take four or five pages. But if you divide here, you'll go, you'll finish the sum in one column or one page. So basically, division is repeated subtraction. Okay, let's try some sums, mental sums. Ready? 15 divided by 3. 15 divided by 3. 15 divided by three. By 3 equals dash. 3 goes into 15 how many times? 3, 5 are 15. Whatever answer you put here, that is the 3 will divide 15 how many times? 5 times. Okay? So let's try some mental stuff. Somehow. You know which number to put here or fill in the blanks. 28 divided by 4. First, 7 because 4 7 the 20. 35 divided by 5. 35 divided by 5. 5 dash are 35. 5 7 the 35. 50 divided by 10. 50 divided by 10. 10 dash are 50. 10 5 the 50. Let's do some sum. So basically, I have described what is division. We have learned that division is repeated, subtraction, and it is a faster way of 
doing calculations. So let me do some quick, write some quick sums. Okay, let's 100 divided by 10. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. 20 divided by 4. 4 dash. 4 dash up 20. 4 fives are 20. 4 fives are 20. That's the way to check your answer. Okay, so 15 divided by 5, 5 goes into 15 how many times? 3 times and you get your answer, 5 3 is 15, 10 goes into 40 how many times? 10, 4 is good, 10, 4 is 40, 100 divided by 10, 10 goes into 100 how many times? 10, 10 is 100. So that's how we divide in a horizontal way. But there are other ways which we can do. For example, for 8 divided by 5. Okay? We can have a quotient, we can have a remainder. That you can do it in your rough call, you can do it mentally. Now 5 doesn't go into 4. 5 goes into 40 how many times? 5, 9 is 45. 45, what is the remainder? 46, 47, 48. This will do it later on. But later on you will get in your self-assessment test, you will get to do these sums. Now let's divide in another way. Let's learn to divide some sums. In another way, let's put it in in columns. So ready? Okay. Five goes into eighteen. How many times? Five doesn't go into one, so we have to take two digits. Yes or no? Yes. So five. Ones are five, five twos are ten, five threes are fifteen, five fours are twenty. Write the table alongside the sum so that it will be very clear to you which numbers are small, which numbers are big, and try and do the tables just above the number that is shown here. So twenty. We don't have to do more than twenty because there's only eighteen of them. So which number do you think will go? Now, 5 is too small, 10 is also small, 20 is big, it's bigger, we cannot put a bigger number. So 5 goes in each how many times? 3 times. 5 3 is a 80? No, it's not 80. It is 50. Like some of you make mistakes when you are doing your division. You are right, because you see 18 over here, 5 3 is a 80. So 8 minus 5, 3. 1 minus 1, 0. So this is the remainder. What is it? It is the remainder. This 3 is the answer, means cohesion. It is the cohesion. This is the dividend. What is it? Dividend. And the number you are dividing with is known as the divisor. Divisor, dividend, Cohesion remainder. Now just think that you have 18 sweets and you are going to divide among 5 friends. So how many sweets are each of the friends going to get? They are going to get 3. And 3 will be the remainder. Now you cannot give distribute these 3 sums to 5 because some will not get and they will get angry with you. Yes or no? So it has to be even, evenly distributed. So when there's a remainder, so when we divide 18 by 5, 3 will be the remainder. No need to give it to your friends again. Maybe you have best friends, you'll give them, yes or no? But the others will get angry because they were 3 and the others were 4. So there'll be a big fight. 
So, division is all about equally distributing among friends and a remainder. Sometimes the remainder may not be there. For example, 40 divided by 2. So, you have 40 sweets and you want to distribute sweets to two persons. How many will each get? Yes, some of you have got the answer so quickly. 20, yes or no? But we have to find it out. Now, we have to do one number at a time. Two will go into four. How many times? Two twos are four. Four minus four, zero. Bring down zero. Now, the answer is not two there. Because we have brought down this number here, we have to do the sum. Two goes into zero how many times? We cannot write two ones are two here. We cannot write two ones are zero. Just because zeros are there. So, two zeros are zero. Good. Some of you are saying it. Two zeros are zero. So, each person is going to get 20 sweets. Very good. So, let's do some more sums. Let's use three digit sums. Four, five, six, divided by nine, eight, three, five, four, divided by five. Ready? Okay. Nine, we must look at the division. First number of the is four. Which is bigger? 9 is bigger, so it won't go. So we have to use both these numbers, two numbers. No need to write 9 zeros as 0 like some of you do, but if you want to do it, you can do it. If it's easy for you, you can do it that way. But let's do it the other way, which I do it. 9 goes into 45 how many times? 9 fives are 45. 5 minus 5, 0. 4 minus 4, 0. Break down 6. Which is bigger? The number we brought down or the divisor? The divisor is bigger. So with 9 going to 6? No. We cannot write 9, nine ones are 9 here because 9 is a bigger number. So how many times is 9 going to 6? 0. 9 zeros are 0. And what is the remainder? 6. So when we divide 456 by 9, we get 15 and the remainder 6. This is what answers cohesion. What is this number known as? Dividend. What is this number known as? Divisor. And good. Remainder. Now let's try this. Let's look at 5 and 8. 8 is bigger. So we know that 5 will go into 8. It won't go fully. There will be a remainder. But let's see how many times it will go. So in the beginning, when we do our division sums, let's write the tables there, okay? So we can have a clear understanding of what numbers to put. So 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10. Why I stopped at 10? Because it is bigger than 8. So which number do you think is going to go? 5. How many times? 1. 5 ones are 5. 8 minus 5? 3. Bring down 3. How much we have over here? Do we have only 3 or this number is 33? Good. It is 33. Okay. So 5 will go into 33 how many times? So let's do the tables there. Just above 33. Whichever number comes, we stop. 10. 3 is 54. 20. 5, 25, 6, 30, 7, 35. I have stopped there because this number is bigger than this. So, which number? So, which number is less than 35? 30. So, come back. So, 5 is going to 30 other times. 5, 6 are 30. 3, 3 minus 3, 0. Bring down 4 or 5. Good, 5. So how much we have over here? 35. Do we have a number here? Yes, we have. 5 goes into 35 how many times? 
seven, five, seven, done, thirteen, five. Five minus five, zero, three minus three, zero. Now we have one more number to bring down, bring it down here, and next to this last number, zero, bring down four. Five will go into four, how many times? Four is smaller, so five is not going to go. So how many times? Zero. Five, zero, zero, zero. What is the remainder? Four. So see how it's done. Okay, let's have a look again. So 8354 divided by 5. To make it easier for to write the answers, write the tables here. You can do this for three or four sums. After that, you will know how to do it. Okay? So 5, 1, 5. 8 minus 5, 3. Bring down 3. 5, 6, 30. 3 minus 0, 3. 3 minus 3, 0. Bring down 5. 5, 7, 35. 5 minus 5, 0. 3 minus 3, 0. Bring down 4. 5, 0, 0. And 4. I hope you are understanding. Okay, let's do one more. Eighty-one zero eight five nine. Okay, it's an easy one. So we must say the tables. Nine one the nine, nine two the eighty-nine, seven the sixty-three, nine eight the seventy-two, nine nine the eighty-one, nine ten the ninety. If once two digit comes means we don't we cannot put two digit numbers here. So nine nines are eighty-one. We must because we are using two numbers, whatever answer you're going to write on top, it should be not above the first number. Why? Because we are using two numbers. The answer should be written above the second number. Nine, nine, sir. Eighty, one. One minus one, zero. Eight minus eight, zero. Bring down zero. You can bring this number down. But I'm make it, making it very simple. Yes, there is another way of bringing it by bringing down both the numbers together. You can do it that way. But to make it simpler for the ones who find it difficult, we will do it one step at a time. So nine zeros are zero. Zero. Bring down eight. Nine going eight, how many times? Nine one the nine. Mm -hmm. You cannot put nine because it's a bigger number. So nine zeros are zero. Remainder eight. So nine will go into eight one zero eight. How many times? Nine hundred times. Leaving a remainder of eight. So children, make sure that you learn your tables well. For three or four sums, you can do it in this way. Okay? You can do it in this way so that it's easier for you. Is that clear? Okay? So what we have learned today? We learned that division is repeated. Subtraction means a faster way of doing sums. Because if you keep on subtracting one by one, it will take a long time. But when we divide, it's a faster way of doing sums. And we learned how to divide where to put zero and do not forget to do three or four sums in this way. So later on you will be getting a self-assessment test and what you have to do is very simple which we have done. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> so your questions will be like this. Two 18 divided by 2. 2 will go into 18 how many times? 9 times. 2 nines are 18. 15 divided by 10. Because how much? 10? Yes, 10 fives are 15. Remember to do the sums, write your name and press the summit. Summit button. Okay, children, learn your tables. Stay home and stay safe. 
Don't give problems to your parents. Do the homework yourself. So see you in the next class. Bye.